Today, the Farallons are full of life and have been largely restored as a habitat that is home to the largest seabird colony in the contiguous United States. The unique upwelling which takes place at these islands creates one of the most biodiverse marine ecosystems on the planet. There are over 390 fish species, 36 marine mammal species, and 330 invertebrate species within the sanctuary. Among these, and typically the easiest for visitors to see, are the various pinnipeds such as sea lions, elephant seals, and fur seals. There are also cetaceans like humpback and gray whales, dolphins and porpoises, and blue whales, the largest animal on the planet, just to name a few. And all have their different migratory seasons, so it's worth coming out to the islands at different times of the year to see what you can see. You can see nettles and jellyfish, mola mola, also known as the ocean sunfish, which is the largest bony fish on earth, some are the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, and harder to see on most tours, but certainly out there somewhere beneath the waves roams the elusive great white shark, and then fish species ranging from Chinook salmon to thresher sharks, plus sea turtles, and all the way down to the tiniest krill, which is the base of the food chain out here. Being very similar to the Galapagos Islands of South America as an isolated island chain, the Farallons are unlike any other place on Earth and provide an experience much like a safari on the high seas for those who come out for a visit. If you're interested in checking out the Farallons, the Oceanic Society has a fantastic day trip you can go on, while along the way usually encountering humpback whales, sunfish, jellyfish, various seabirds like cormorants, seagulls, albatross, and puffins, and sometimes even a playful pot of dolphins. On board